Do you remember when the photo came out that led to a lot of speculation of his hand? You can see here, and we're gonna focus not on its bizarrely small size, but we're gonna focus on the red dots there. What is the cause of the red dots? Now there was wild speculation about this. Donald Trump was asked to clarify this, and this is what he said. Hey, how's your hand? Is it, it looks like it's better now. What? My hand? Yeah, remember what happened the other day? What was wrong with it? You didn't see the photos coming no. out of Trump Tower? No. It was, okay. What was wrong with it? The other one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And do you want to tell us what happened with the hand? Nothing. <laughs> Maybe it's AI. Yeah, maybe it's AI. I mean, look, he showed his hands there. There are no red spots. They look like perfectly normal, albeit uh, T-Rex sized hands on um, on a human body. But there's no barks there. Here's the thing, it wasn't AI. That photo was taken by a photographer. And now look, that doesn't mean that everybody's favorite explanation is true. It doesn't mean that it's proof of syphilis or something like that. Let's not go crazy. He had been slamming his hands on the, the, the table at the courtroom. He probably blistered himself. But there's no way that he doesn't know that he did that. If your hand was covered in blood blisters, you're gonna feel that, okay? Uh, particularly with the terrible relationship he has with his wife. It's gonna come up, I'm just gonna say that. So he knows what happened to his hand. Why is he lying about it? Why, like, I know that like anyone who's accused of doing something illegal is going to claim that the evidence is all they generated. That's what Roger Stone does. Nobody's claiming you broke the law, man. We're just wondering about your hands. And he just can't be honest about anything. The guy who supposedly tells it like it is can't even tell it like his hand is. What do you think, Yes? Yeah, it is weird because, you know, like you said, if he was talking about a legal case, we can understand why he would be incentivized to lie or at least deny the allegations against him. But this is something so simple. You know, if if I showed up with something on my hand and people were like, What happened to your hand? I'd be like, Oh, I got a blister. Done. It'd be that'd be mm -hmm. it. You know, it'd be the end of the story. It's so easy to just be like, that's what it is. Sorry, you know. And what's funny about that is he blamed it on AI. But later, those same pictures were released, and they, like the Trump team, they had photoshopped out the blisters. So, which <laughs> one is AI? Which one is actually AI, Trump? I love that there is a person whose job it is to remove just the, you know, the evidence of the inevitable decline of the human body as it ages. It bruises easier. It looks rough, remember, and that's like when he job. was first, when all the small hand things first started coming out. He had his team Photoshop his hands in pictures to make them look bigger. Do you, is that, do I don't, I remember, I don't remember that, but that is okay. just devastating. I feel like, like that happened. I, I feel like that I happened know. like back in 2016 or something. I didn't think that I could feel secondhand embarrassment for Donald Trump at this point, but that is just the saddest thing. Somebody just don't let him go in public anymore. He can't take it. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.